Que viene uno, tío. Curry, loco, curry. Ojo de puta. ¿Cómo venía hasta aquí? Mira, mira. Muy buena gente, estamos aquí de nuevo en Red Dead Redemption 2. Continuamos con los capítulos de este juegazo, ¿vale? Empieza la semana de Red Dead Redemption 2, otra vez, de lunes a viernes, ya lo sabéis. Y nada, vamos a ver qué ha pasado hoy. Hemos hecho unas cuantas cositas interesantes, hemos seguido con la historia. Eh, nos hemos vestido de gala, salía un poco, como siempre. Y nada, vamos a ver, vamos a ver gente, vamos a ello, ¿vale? Y ya sabéis que estoy en directo todos los días, de lunes a domingo, en Twitch, ¿vale? Eh, entre 10 y cuarto, 10 y media. Sobre esa hora, ¿vale? Por la noche, por supuesto. Y nada, vamos a ello, gente. Hey, hey. Wait up there. ¿Qué pasa? You doing all right, partner? Cause we ain't. Wouldn't believe it unless I seen it with my own eyes. You here to try this town's wine or women? Or just whatever's cheapest. I ain't here to cause trouble. You looking for a volley of musket fire? This is the Moen Raider land. Ah, este es un gilipollas de león. You're lucky you ain't suffering death by raider. ¿Quieres callar? Don't you put... Toma, hostia. Anda. Que te... Que te calles. Ven aquí tú. Ya se me ha ido todo. Ya se me ha ido el puto caballo. Ya la hemos liado. Y mi caballo, tío. ¿Por qué mete un puñetazo y se va el caballo? Toma por culo. Está aquí. ¿Eres tonto? Que vienen, que vienen. Me ven, que me ven. Me ven, que me ven. Vamos, para. Ya estamos liados. Yo no se puede hacer nada en este barrio. Siempre se me olvida ponerme el, la máscara. ¿Qué pasa? Un sogrito. Cinco pavos. Tío, que le pega a uno, que era malo. Déjenme. ¿Qué me hacen esto? Pues es que yo no soy. Yo no soy. Vale, espera. Pero ¿por qué me dispara la gente de la ley? Que sois agente de la ley. Otro tonto. Hostia, que si me como un carro. Pero tío, si es que no se puede meter a alguien puñetazo sin que te reviente. Qué pesa son, eh. Que son pesados, joder. Hostia, casi me pilla el tren. Mira si va gente en rojo también ahí en el tren. Que vienen, que vienen. Que vienen los guardias. ¡Ah! Os habéis comido el tren. 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 ¿Estáis comiendo el tren? 
Jeg ser ikke en assist. Okay, me provocas. One moment, please. Hey. This is extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Uh. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, it's the thing I was trying to look for. No, I don't know. The flowers are those special. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh yes, yeah, as I always say. But you know, I'm not. Para hacer los sombreros, ¿de acuerdo? No, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist? Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area, not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven. <sighs> sure. Well, I do <laughs> pay exceptionally sí, well for certain objects. They are vagabundo, they are brutal, they are the talk you see. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least fifteen egret plumes. Ah, lo de las plumas de la garceta. I also need fifteen assorted orchids. Sí, y la orquídea. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Pluma de garceta pequeña 5, pluma de garceta rojiza 5, pluma de garceta blanca 5, orquídea dama de noche 5. Pero bueno, esas cosas no las vamos a hacer ya porque ya las hicimos en su día. Y esos son coleccionables que tampoco... Yo me quiero centrar en la historia y en las misiones secundarias que no sea de coleccionismo. Vale, vamos a ver, esta gente ya me ha dejado tranquilo. Vamos, ¿quieres? Quería ir aquí. Pero si yo no he hecho nada. Apologies. No me tronche. ¿Qué tira ahí? Tira el libro. Es normal que te deja el libro aquí. Es normal. No me deja coger. ¿Qué pasa? Pero bueno, otra vez. Estos son los de antes. Esta vez ha venido acompañado. Hey, ma'am. How do you do? Partner. Señor. Partner. Hey, friend. Saludos. A veces cuando entras en un bar de estos pasan cosas. Espera, señorita, pase, pase este, pase este. Hola, bien. Hey, mister. Hey, mister. Ah, la borracha esta. Hi, folks. 
Mais bonjour. So, what it be? Monsieur. Bonjour, de l'amour Le pego un tiro. Sí. Es la diva de Saint Denis. Mira almendra. Una almendra. Costillas, pedimos costillas. Someone tried to buy a Smell good, huh? This town is so bloody boring. How do you? Ya conmigo. Encima conmigo con un señor. All of you. You're all boring. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Ya se quiere callar ya. Interesting mind or a nasty habit among the lot of you. Place used to be sophisticated. Stories I heard would make a devil blush. Not anymore. The devil's gone elsewhere. And we're left with the choir masters. And not the fun kind. No, sorry. Pues vale, señora. Hello. Me llama parroquian. Huh? Sí, la verdad es que sí. Hola. Hola. Ah, estos son los indios. Creo Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. Estos son los de Guaypiti. Que viven en Guaypiti. Oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and... Punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. You know, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder. Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. 
Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh on done. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Erka, bar, no, vale. A mí ya no sé el tonta cuesta. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi River boat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Pero si ya voy elegante. Con este sombrero. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Pero yo no We quiero gastar. We are playing on the river boat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. Elige tu nena. Este es uno. Ah, no me. Inbreeding. Might I suggest the fine three Ah, no me deja. Solo uno, nada más. Hijo de puta, nada que me dejan de elegir. Pues nada, solo me dejan uno. Pues vaya gilipollas, yo no sé por qué me da a elegir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious. No What is? The action he has planned. Tengo que llevar pañuelo ese rosa. Digo azul. Play cards and win, and you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil that's come to so. lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. <laughs> My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir.
Miquela se está mordiendo los dientes. Está diciendo, ese no, ese no. Por favor, ese no. ¿Pero por qué te vienes con los peinados de esta época? Listo. Bueno, Virale, ¿qué tal? There, very smart. Ahora vamos de fiesta. Vamos de fiesta. George, to the Grand Capito, tío. Grand Corrigan, sir. Me está maqueando, tío. Well, look at you. Le pega totalmente, ¿verdad? Yeah, El forajido, Coach. señorito. We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Para luego termina siempre igual pegando Which tiros, ¿sabes? <laughs> a todos no los sitios donde va. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Bueno, Miquela, ¿qué te parece la barba y el bigote que me dejó? Hostia, esa barba y ese bigote con la cresca maravilla. Esto es lo de la fiesta del barco. Aquí creo que salía algo, ¿no? Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. Hostia, esto es verdad. Tenían que ganar, ¿no? Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Anda que no las pasé puta para conseguir el logro este de la del poke y de George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes. Era poke y Black Jack. Believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer. And this should be a very lucky night. Hey, there they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Quanta elegancia, por favor. Ah, bigote solo, nada más. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Si ya he dado la arma. Déjame aunque sea la navaja. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun. 
tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Y en la mesa de póker. A ver si me entero de esto. No me acuerdo cómo lo he instalado. Pues claro, hombre. Vamos a jugar un poco. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. Vamos a ver. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life, now where would the fun be? Quiet. Strauss. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other one. Entonces está indicando que te retires. Not my preferred title, but Yes, you should. Vale, coño, joder, que se salía en pequeño arriba, no me acordaba. Call, I guess. Like I said, Mr. Callahan, cowards. Call. Okay, sorry, boys, I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with. Here we go then. Hello, my ladies. Damn it! Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. El te está indicando que sigas apostando. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. I thought that yes. Yes, no. Better put. Call. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. I can see. That's logo strong. Interesting. Hair cowgirls. Ah, a period. Shit. Four hundred pounds, colega. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. All right, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard, well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay, I trust you. Now play as you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. A lo tuyo se le ve muy cantoso ahí sentado. No sé. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Ah, que la apuesta es todo. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Ah, dice que sí. Pues vamos a pasar todo. Pear cake. 
Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! N no offense. None take. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Ah, it's also, it's the other one, the Indian. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. No, the Indian, no, the Mexican. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. Javier, is the one who's going to I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. You can put a spider on the floor. We're in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little law giver right here. Very good. Is this for me? Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. Blanquito. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I mean. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> okay, okay. Idiot, huh? Buah, la hemos liado. Ah! Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Okay, okay. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Aquí hay cosas, tío. Déjame mirar cosas. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Ah, que no puedo, no puedo interactuar con nada. Me tengo que ir. No es nada cantoso, ¿sabes lo que acabamos de hacer? How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing. No hay harina. Can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! <laughs> I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. Tenía que haber tirado el agua. ¿no? <laughs> <laughs> Cuando estaba en el suelo, tenía que haber dado tirado el agua. Ah, look, there's your friend. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Bueno, salí a gorda. Ha 
Ay, Dios mío, dice. <risa> Mira que John escapar eh, nadando eh, la llamamos Clara, ¿sabes? Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Nos han bajado los billetes. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a uh, uh, Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Listo. Mission accomplished. Hoy mañana tengo que ir a comprar, no sé qué Ya lo sé que tú tienes que trabajar. ¡Hostia! 825 pavos. Se escapa de barco en menos de 35 segundos una vez que te hayan descubierto. Gana la partida de Poké sin pedir ayuda a Strauss. ¡Hostia! Gana la partida de Poké sin pedirle la, la ayuda a Strauss. Hola, señor. Don't be afraid, don't be shy. Hello. I promise great riches in exchange este es el loco, for a book. Eh? Read this book, follow my simple guidelines, and opulence awaits. Hey, partner. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a book, and cheap at the price. You read this, and you'll want to give me a hundred more. I get the bad you. Sure. The best investment you'll ever make, my friend. Doesn't want to own a palace, employ countless servants, and rule over their own kingdom. Uh. Now you can. Todo me acuerdo que me lo leí yo. Thanks to my book, you'll be extremely rich. This is what America was made for: the chance for the cream to rise to the top. It's time you proved you were cream and not milk. Vale, señor. No, todavía no. Hello, sir. Este es el fotógrafo, ¿verdad? Ah, ya sí. Este que me da una, una vuelta por, con la barca. Para hacer fotos a los cocodrilos, ¿qué? Okay. The creep up on you, you know. Oh, Mr. Morgan. How are you? Este hombre no sé cómo sigue. Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, 
Did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot, then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. If you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> The ten percent who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Oh, into the northwest, there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Acabé de nos aventurar lejos de la maleza que está junto a la orilla. Oh, oh, mira, 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 por ahí va el cocodrilo. Closer now. Closer. We caught him in the middle of his dinner. This is history making, truly. Nature in all its glory and cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. Why are we stopping? You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than... than... Alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now why didn't we think of that? Seventeen feet, nineteen feet, twenty-one feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's twenty-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a twelve-foot skiff. No, this is in the seventeen. No. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. Mira más que está hecho para que no te quedes viado. It's terrible. Ain't shame to this rowing fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big one. Yeah, yeah. This one is right over there. <laughs> yes, yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah, could you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. If we stop too long, locals are going to start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you? Run in there and coax him out. He coax him. Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might. It Hijo might de puta. Save him from the taxidermist. Quiere que vaya a traerlo. But maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. Well, that's the spirit. Out you go then. Get him and uh, get him to notice you, and then turn tail and run. If I'm eaten, I hope he eats you too. Míralo. No, no, que está aquí. ¿Qué cojones ha dejado? ¡Uh! ¡Que viene todo! ¡Que viene todo, hostia! ¡Uh! 
Hijo de puta. Vamos del tiro. Creo que puedo entrar por la zona del fondo. Es que ahí me va a parar el piso. ¿Aquí? No, por aquí. So it's a city bank, and then we're off. It's what you wanted. It's what we need, if we can manage it. City banks are hard, but we got a lot of guns. You think we can do it? I hope so. I really do. Pero si robaron el banco, es que no me acuerdo, tío. No. Aquí había cartas también, ¿eh? No sé si era aquí o era en otro lado. Okay. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Mm. 
эльфа. Тортуха у нас тортуида. Vale, va de caza o de pesca, ¿sí? Arthur, ¿estás Come on, let's go gather some crawfish. See what else we can get. Crawfish? Yeah, crawfish. Finest eating there is. It's not just crawfish. No, there's monsters out there that'll eat a feller for fun. Oh, Arthur, I thought you were a man. No, sir. Huh. <laughs> When it comes to prehistoric monsters, I am very much a coward. <laughs> Whew. Head for those trees across from us and we'll take a look. On the starboard side. The what? My left, your right. This is a boat, Arthur. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay, go slow so I can see. My eyes aren't what they used to be. No, no, ground is too high here. Keep following the shoreline. What exactly are we looking for? We're looking for low ground and a lot of muck. Sit over there. Here? Yeah, yeah, come on. There's more than crawfish in these waters. Stop your whining, please. It's beneath you. This I is the you. place. Now tell me, Arthur, have you ever birthed a cow? No. Man, it's nothing like that, but it's equally as gruesome if you're squeamish. You're really selling this, aren't you? Now, do you see this hole? Yep. Well, it's sort of like a natural trap. Just want to stick your hand and watch. And there! <laughs> there, you see? Good. Well, seems easy enough. Uh-huh. Let's go find another hole. So, how long were you in the Navy? Oh, years. Well, it must have been a year, at least. Or close to that. That's quite a range. All water under the bridge now. No pun intended. Oh, look there. Another crayfish hole. You see it? You try this time, Arthur. And remember to reach down deep and get right in there. They like to dig in, the little blighters. You're not squeamish, are you? Rota hasta encontrar cangrejo. You feel anything? Yeah, I got ah, something. Vale, vale, vale. Nicely done. Why don't you see if there's any more down there? You know the drill now. There we go. What did I tell you? <laughs> okay, come on. Let's try another hole. Won't be much of a gumbo if we don't find some more. Ya verás. Mira que hay ahí. Get down. 
Get down. Talking of other creatures. There. Those gators? Yeah. Three. And they're female. Must be guarding nests. So... Gator eggs. Really valuable. Even better eating. I love cooking with them. Okay. Tell you what. I'm gonna sneak over to the other side of them. Draw their attention. And then run like hell. Now, assuming I don't get eaten, you go plunder the nests. That's your plan? You're madder than I thought. Shh. I've done it before in Sumatra. It's easy. I've heard that line before. Oh, ye of little faith. Wait here, Mr. Morgan. Vaya loco. Vale, ya lo encontré. Aquí hay otro. Espera, espera, espera. Que viene, que viene, que viene, que viene uno, tío. Curri, loco, curri. I'm told there's a collector in San Denis who gives top dollar for them. For millinery, of all things. Yeah, I've met him. He's quite a character. Well, this has been very pleasant. Very pleasant indeed. Mira, si está ahí esperando. Está bien, muy esperando la cocodrila. Parece va. That was fun. I must get out more. Is that your idea of fun, is it? Oh, what? Thank you. Here, have some crawfish. I'll give you some of those eggs. <laughs> hey, maybe you could hatch that. Get yourself a new friend. There's a thought. A new reptilian best buddy. To replace Mike, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my father had one. <laughs> My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pearson. Actually, I'll come back to you later, okay? But he was beaten just the same. Now, it wasn't uh, the, the master of the house, who my father loved, in a way, but his brother, whom my father hated with an almighty passion. He, he'd beat the slaves almost nightly. Whip them. <laughs> Rape them. Uh, cámara libre. Pam, 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 pam. 
なんかっとり台One night, my father was getting a whooping for the crime of being born by this horrible bastard when his sister in law, the, the master's wife, walks in. Now, fearing for my father's life, she told her brother in law to stop. Well, not only did he not stop, he beat her too. Next day, his brother, the master, <clears throat> shot him dead. The whole plantation cheered. The master gave my father his dead brother's watch and told him as he did so, Time will catch up with us all. A year later, he set them free and hanged himself the very next night. My father gave me that watch. Beautiful, big pocket watch it was. And now, I've gone and lost it fleeing Blackwater. When I get some spare money, I'm gonna buy myself another one to honor both my father and the folks that saved his life. El Mika está ahí como diciendo que cojones, no importa tu puta vida. Que es un cabrón, Mika. Vale, ¿me ha pedido un reloj? Ah, pues el reloj. Hey, Arthur. Lenny. You got a good head on your shoulders. I do. And that's half the battle in this line of work. Sure, Arthur. Que la otra vez me salió fallida. Es que da buguea, no sé por qué. La otra vez, la, la primera vez que me jugué a juego, la veo de puta madre, yo no sé por qué ahora. ¿Qué quieres? No seas así. Esto es bueno. Sí, siempre es con ti. Hasta que nos empezamos a ser atacados. Bueno, ¿has estado atacado por un cow? ¿Cuáles cows? Es un drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. Él es such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. Mm, he ain't all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that Hostia. buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you 60% of the take. How many cows? <laughs> I don't know. Small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <laughs> Pero bueno. Ese book. Okay, let's mount up. So where's this ranch? It's right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows, just past the road's turn off. Entonces, si esta vez entra las putas vacas y me habla esa gente de lo que le, le enviamos a las vacas, porque es que no, no salía la, la animación de que me hablase, le pueden entregarlo. No sé por qué tanto fallo ahora. That it ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old feller like me running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, oh, just be careful. Yep. How old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. And my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though no. she did leave me for a younger man. Mm. Well, maybe we should cut you open and count the rings of whiskey. Now, I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment <laughs> I met you. Now, I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What the Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna see out my days. Well, I'll believe it when I see. We're gonna cut up this way.
All right. Let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses clopping around outside the window. Come on, let's take a closer look. Oh, shit. Look over there. The hell? Who are these clowns? I don't know. Oh, this is the first time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. <laughs> Hurry up. I'm doing the best I can. So shut up. Hurry up and be quiet. Ow. You said he was a drunkard. You said that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh, what's a metaphor? You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. Well, you're a son of a bitch. Well, that ain't one. Now, now, now get back to looking out. And shut up. So, what now? I thought you had a plan. I ain't so sure now. Christ, I'll take care of him. You hear that? It ain't nothing. Oh, shit, you hear that? Brother. Mierda. Bueno, pero que te pones a cargar ahora. Te pones ni a cargar ahora. Break the padlock. My lock picking skills ain't what they used to be. What a surprise. ¿Y se puede romper? Uh... Si sí, lo Springfield lo tengo, lo podría coger. O puedo llevarlo encima. Vale. Aunque ya lo tengo. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. You said he ain't gonna wake up and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out. Right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. Keep moving! Se ha caído, Jeripoy. Vale, vente a su casa. Voy a robar. ¿Qué tal, eh, hermano? ¿Qué hace esa normal? ¿Qué tío más tonto, por favor? En fin. Que no puedo entrar en la puta casa, espérate. Déjame entrar, hombre. Déjame en puto entrar en la casa. Qué dinero aquí, tío. Sí, tira, tira para allá. 
Eso no porque... Vale, espérate, tío, no os pongáis nerviosos. que se iban a cargar los dos, ¿vale? están todos ¿no? se va una vaca Es que eres tontísimo, Anko. ¿Por qué tienes que seguirme a mí tan pegado, tío? Vamos a ver si no se caga aquí la misión. Por ahí anda ya eso. Estos son los que compran los caballos, también robar. Ya ves tú la mierda con la por esto. Bueno, que no quiera que vayan entrando. Parece las vacas de Minecraft, con las que se quedan ahí pilla. Bueno, vas muchas.
Esto no me pasó la primera vez que lo jugué, tío. Entraron limpio, creo. Tengo que ir entrando, coño. No sé qué cojones habrán tocado el juego. Buena. Eso ha sido buena. Vamos a ayudarla porque es la más tonta de todas. Vale, ya está. Ahora sí. Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. This is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move it right away. We'll take 200. Friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. Clive, pay your friend here. Mm. <sighs> Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> Like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. Sesenta dólares, vete a puta mierda. Bronce, tío. ¿Qué por qué hay fuego? Lancaste y de rojo. Ah, es este señor. Hello there. Would you be able to help me out again? Seguramente lo que me pidas lo tengo en mano. I could use some assistance gathering herbs for my studies. What are you looking for this time? Uh, you see this purple flower here? No tengo. This is tengo sage. Todo. But I'll need to experiment with more of it before I can be sure of its effects. I found this one with his friends in the woods. I'd check wooded areas for more. Let's try this. El tío va a tocar a vivo el hijo de puta. El gol mal. Oh, yes. I feel ready to take on the world. I'll have trouble sleeping tonight. A man could go for days on this. You've had some long ones, I'm sure. Some sage may just be what you need. <laughs> You've been a great help. I've bottled up this tonic for you as a re This special elixir will set you right, no matter your wrong. Es all the power the natural world can offer. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Yeah. Coño, se ha quedado disparado, ¿no? Raro.
Hola. Hey, mister. Oh, hey, friend. You boys don't look so fresh. We ain't. I think we're dying, friend. Ah, we had some bad mushrooms. Bad business, sure. It's been real tough, partner. So it seems. I hate to ask, but we need some medicine. Kind of fast. Medicine? Yeah, look at us. Look at me. And he's worse than he looks. Uh oh. And he looks like shit. He ain't gonna last three days. And me? I ain't well. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I'm I'm begging you, partner. Oh. 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 Why? I told you it'd help us. I told you. I told you, did I? You did. You told me. You told me a lot of things. We're gonna be all right, buddy. Are we? Well, physically. Drink this. I'll give it to Black first. No, no, no. I'll give it to White. No, no. Drink this and shake it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh that's good stuff. Ooh. But listen, I reckon you boys should get on out of here. Maybe split up. Head up north or overseas. They don't like groups of men. I know. I hear you, boss. Listo. A dormir, gente. Just gotta sleep it off like this big lump. Vale. I'm the man. I can feel it. I hope. So long. Negro pony. Hijo de puta, no me da la cuenta. Hijo de puta, pone negro, tío. Me da el nombre de. Oh, ya estaba aquí, ¿eh? ¿Eh? Hostia. Hostia, más muertes. Ya no me acordaba de nada esto. Bueno, esto usted ya no lo va a necesitar, señor. Siento. Quiero coger esto. Y ahora quiero coger. Y se va. Pero bueno. Eh, carta de Garfield para Marta. 17 de agosto de 1864. Mi queridísima Marta. De hecho, mucho de menos. La vida cobra sentido cuando estamos juntos. Ya no le veo sentido a esta guerra. Cuando me alisté, parece que fue hace mil años. Todo parecía muy sencillo. Y vamos a manifestar nuestros derechos como Estado para hacer lo que nos diera la gana y enviar a la horca a cualquier necio que... El norte nos ordenara. No puedo creer que estuviera dispuesto a morir por estos principios. Y eso que he vivido como... Eso que he visto como masacraba a muchísimos hombres con lo que crecí por ellos. Por ellos, por ellos y por su estúpido orgullo. Los sueños son unos necios. 
Los sureños son unos necios orgullosos. Ahora solo estoy orgulloso de una cosa, el amor que comparto contigo. Y eres una yanqui, una abol abolicionista. Todo lo que se supone que debería odiar. Y que... ¿Eh? Vale. Y que ahora amo con tanta fuerza. ¿Cómo puedes corresponderme con el necio que soy? Estoy deseando que acabe esta guerra. Son muchas las veces que pensé en escapar. Pero ahora el general Harry si nos gusta. Gusta de disparar a los desertores. Aún no soy lo suficientemente orgulloso como para permitirlo. Parece que nos dirigimos a un campamento enemigo de Scarlet Meadows para la última batalla. Tenemos muy pocas posibilidades de ganar. Nuestra marra está por los suelos y los yanquis son demasiado fuertes. Tras las acusaciones de cobardía vestidas contra el general Harris por no haber eh, podido ayudar al general Quinn, Quinn el mes pasado y todo ese escándalo parece estar emperrado en luchar. Incluso escuché cómo el alcalde Smith se quejaba del general Harris en el comedor de los oficiales. Ya ninguno de sus subalternos confía mucho en él. Espero no morir, no porque la ten le tenga mucho aprecio a mi vida, sino por la tristeza que te causaría. Te echo de menos, siempre tuyo, Garf. Pero el tema de Smith y Harris, esos son nombres reales de, de, la, re de la guerra de sucesión. De sec secesión. Pobre mujer. Se ha muerto aquí, no sé de qué. Es que no sé de qué se ha muerto, tío. ¿La han matado o no? Estoy yendo a un puma. Estoy yendo a un puma. Tengo puesto comercial de Rich me ha parecido bastante interesante. Ah, vale, esto es lo que estaba ya. Espérate. ¿Dónde está apuntando? ¿Está apuntando para allá? Elegido oculto. Ahí está, mal encontré. 15 pavos. ¿Ya está? Ah, que puedo dormir en petate. Ahí hay un puma. Yo a ah, no, qué haces, y pollas, pero qué haces anormal.
Es tontísimo. Eres tontísimo. Cogemos. Nos podemos llevar al... Es un puma. Nos lo podríamos llevar al... Al peletero ese, como cojones se llamaba. No me acuerdo. El perista, no. Al otro. ¿Qué hay otra casa? Podemos incluso... ¿Yo estaba aquí? Hostia, colega, esto es lo del meteorito este. Esto es lo del puto meteorito, colega. Podría hacer ahí una foto, ¿eh? Qué guapo. Mira, por encima se ha quedado. Se ha quedado bastante chulo. Eh, cámara libre. Cámara libre. No ver posición. Avanzado, efecto, no, es posición. Este va a ser la miniatura. Esta va a ser la miniatura. Voy a coger todo lo que hay ahí. Un meteorito. Se va a quemar. Es que han reventado, liga. ¿Qué más hay ahí? Y aquí hay una carta. Otra más, perfecto. Parece que a esta casa le cayó algo encima, como un meteorito o algo similar. Baby Bell. Bueno, pues lo dejamos aquí. Hemos estado a punto de llegar a donde estaba el señor inventor, pero nos hemos mantenido por el camino porque hemos visto un puma. Eh, si no lo pillo me mata, ¿vale? Es, son muy traicioneros. Y hemos encontrado dos sitios muy guapos, la verdad. Lo del meteorito mmm, está bastante interesante y nos han dado un meteorito que seguramente se pueda vender o se pueda entregar a, entregar a alguien. Ya veremos a ver lo que hacemos con ellos. También hemos hecho unas cuantas misiones del, de las principales. Hemos, nos hemos vestido de gala, como dije al principio. Eh, salía parda en el barco. Y bueno, 
pues vamos a ver qué ocurre mañana. Vamos a continuar mañana con la historia, ¿vale? En otro, en otro capítulo. Ok, gente. Así que nada, ya sabéis, estoy en directo de lunes a domingo en Twitch también, ¿vale? Podemos estar allí hablando, pasarlo bien. Y nada, que eso es a lo que, a lo que venimos, ¿no? Y ya sabéis, si os ha gustado el vídeo, dadle like, suscribiros, que eso me ayuda bastante, ¿vale? Me ayuda muchísimo, gente, que lo sabéis. Muy bien. Ya sabéis que es gratis, no pasa nada. Nos vemos.